My name is Rob Schenk. I'm the Chief Content Officer for the National Medal of Honor Museum. Well, the big exhibit that we're hoping to create and launch in the end of 2024 is a really powerful set of exhibits and experiences tied to the Medal of Honor. It's such a powerful, rich set of stories. And one of those uh, sets of stories that we want to feature are pilots who earned the Medal of Honor, particularly those who flew a specific fighter plane in World War II. Very early on, when we set our sights on having a, a gallery focused on aviation, we thought what sort of aircraft that were flown by Medal of Honor recipients could we acquire and present. At the top of our list was a short, stubby, iconic Navy fighter plane from World War II called the F-4F Wildcat. More Medal of Honor recipients flew that plane than any other single engine fixed wing plane in American history. And the one that we're to receive has a really fascinating story. This plane, this specific Wildcat plane, started its journey towards the museum at the bottom of Lake Michigan. Ensign Forbes, who's learning to fly the Wildcat, needs to land on the Sable. And during a very cold December 1944 day, he hits the carrier deck of the Sable and skids off the side into the waters below. He manages to get out of the cockpit uh, as the plane sinks to the bottom of Lake Michigan. There's some really you know, amazing stories that are associated with this. Uh, it starts with Henry Elrod, who uh, flew from Wake Island in the first days of World War II. Butch O'Hare, uh, who's the only Navy uh, pilot of the eight. Butch O'Hare single-handedly saved the USS Lexington from the Japanese bomber attack. Several have a really interesting uh, connection to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, one, Joe Foss, who does Herald from South Dakota, after his military service, becomes the commissioner of the American Football League. And another is Bob Gaylor, who's another one of the Wildcat Medal of Honor aces. He later moves to Dallas, Texas, and actually works for Bum Wright, who's one of the early owners of the Dallas Cowboys. Well, first, let me just say how grateful we are to the city of Arlington. They have been the best partner you could ever ask for. We hope that people, not only from the city, but from the whole Dallas-Fort Worth area, or even the whole country, because we feel like being in the center of the country, being kind of near the airport, will allow people to come from far and wide. And we hope that we'll be kind of a, a, a great part of the growing Arlington community.